forecast with Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. To think that we had sunshine, cool weather over the weekend, now, mm -mm, that's not the case. We have a lot of clouds in place, but still enough to see the beautiful sunset here in Baton Rouge. 74 degrees, we hit a high of 82 degrees today, and we are cranking up the heat the next couple of days. So if you like spring-like weather, go out and enjoy it. It just will be breezy and humid, and we'll be dodging a couple of showers. Right now, a few showers just near New Roads and then near St. Francis. Francisville, but not anything all too heavy, but going forward the next couple of days, we could have a couple of quick downpours, but not expecting anything major, not expecting any flooding or anything like that. But I will break this all down for you in just a minute what we can expect each day. Mid 70s right now and temperatures are not going to come down all too much overnight. We're talking mid and upper 60s by morning. Some areas of fog will also be possible tomorrow. Low and mid 80s, about 84 degrees in Denham Springs, 84 in Baton Rouge and 84 in Gonzales. And the best chance for rain tomorrow will be north of the 10 and 12. And notice this south winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour with frequent gusts over 25 miles per hour. So tomorrow is going to be quite humid and quite breezy as well. So Wednesday and Thursday, we're back up in the mid 80s, which is well above average, about 20 degrees above average for this time of year. But Thursday night and into Friday, a cold front will move in. That's going to bring us another cool down over Mardi Gras weekend. But the good thing is we are going to have rain around early Friday, but by Friday night, when uh, the crew of South Downs rolls, we're going to be mostly dry. Sunday, we could have another cold front move in. For now, we're going with roughly 30 to 40 percent chance for rain. It's not going to be a washout. Now tomorrow, a couple of storms may be on the strong or even severe side for southwest Mississippi. The threat is really, really low if any storms even get ignited because as of now, it doesn't appear as though it's going to be anything widespread, just spotty in nature. So let me show you on the future track. I know it's showing a lot of green, but a lot of this is going to be extremely light and notice the trend. The best chance north of the 10 and 12. This is around lunch time some spotty activity and then into tomorrow evening we're dry but some areas of fog looking likely Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning and then a couple of showers in the mix on Wednesday as well. Now Thursday that's when the forecast gets a little tricky because we are going to have a stalled system cold front to our northwest and that's really going to cut the state in half in terms of temperatures. We're going to be in the 80s where our friends in central and north Louisiana will be in the 50s, so significantly cooler. Here's Thursday morning, a couple of showers. The cold front will eventually start to move to the southeast once again, Thursday night and into Friday morning. Should clear the area by Friday morning, but a couple of lingering showers looking likely. But then we're going to hold on to the clouds. So yes, we'll be dry for the crew of South uh, downs, but it is going to be quite cloudy and it is going to be cool and breezy. So be sure you bundle up seven o'clock. That's when the parade rolls. So make sure the kids are bundled up because 54 may feel like the 40s and then Spanish town going to be chilly as well. And we are going to be mostly cloudy but rain free. The best chance for rain will be toward Acadiana and toward Lake Charles more so than here in Baton Rouge. But keep in mind our rain chances do increase once again on Sunday, but doesn't appear as though it's going to really slow us down all too much and it will be on the cool side. Lundi Gras and Mardi Gras look to be mostly sunny, dry 